organizations today are investing billions of dollars every year to protect their email. So obviously they feel protected because they invest so much. But practically they are not. I mean, they have a variety of solutions, a huge variety of solutions to choose from, but still 92% of the threats are delivered via email. And most successful ransomware and data breaches are caused as a result of a file or a link, malicious ones, that attach to an email. You know why? Because email security solutions today are missing about a third of the unknown threats every week. And it takes them more than 36 hours to detect a new malware that could cause a major data breach. My name is Liron Barak and I'm the CEO and co-founder of BitDem. For more than seven years, I was a cyber attacker in the Israeli intelligence forces. And today, I will tell you why email security solutions are failing us. The attacking world is super dynamic and keep changing all the time. Attackers use automation in order to create new variants of known attacks, such as Emotet and Drydex, generating hundreds of new attack mutations a day, making sure that they will be missed by the security solutions. And by the time those solutions will be able to learn, adjust, and detect those new threats, well, there will be new hundreds of variants, of course, because this is how, how they, they play the game. Are email security solutions up for this game or challenge? Will they ever be? What is the exact exposure to threats when there is an email security solution in place? Well, during the last couple of months, BDM has performed a robust empirical study in order to measure this gap and reveal the real numbers behind it. Collaborating with our customers in the States and Europe that are using the leading email security, security solutions in the market, such as Office 365 ATP, Proofpoint, G Suite for Enterprise, and so on, we were able to check how exposed are those solutions to new variants of unknown threats such as Emotet and TrickBot. During the experiment, we sent threats that were detected in the wild, wild to a dedicated test email account that is protected by the advanced packages of Office 365 and G Suite. We're talking about hundreds of threats per day. And it's important to mention, we are just the mediator here. We don't change nor edit the threats just automatically send it to the test live environment once a new threat is detected. That's it, pretty straightforward. The results of this study are pretty shocking. While email security solutions today are missing about 30% of the unknown threats when they first encounter those. It means that if an attacker, let's say, has created 10 new variants of Emotet, which takes him a few seconds while drinking his morning coffee, Three out of them will be missed by your email security, no matter how advanced and expensive it is. We also measure the time to detect. How long it took those solutions to recognize those malicious files and links as threats and block them. Well, sadly, we are talking about hours, if not days of exposure, with 50% uh, uh, with, uh, of the threats become detectable just after three days. Just to understand the implication of that, it takes an attack a few minutes to spread across the network. The bottom line is, the, is that the exposure is constant and significant. Every day, there are real hundreds of threats that could potentially bypass any email security solution that you have in place. Any single moment there are new attack variants that your Office 365 and G Suite Advanced Protection fails to detect. And I'm not talking about this zero day that will be sent to you once in a lifetime. I'm talking about everyday threats. And it's just a matter of luck if you're breached or not. Let's take as an example the data breach at the well-known uh, Canadian company, LifeLabs, that was published just a month ago. 15 million user records were exposed and it might cost the company about, about $1 billion in class action lawsuits. Needless to say, the attack started with a phishing email that was sent to one of the employees. And yes, you guessed well, they do have email security solution in place. They probably have the leading solution in the market. It's fine, yeah. They probably have the leading solution in the market, as I said. Uh, so it seems like we all keep trusting our luck and investing millions of dollars uh, in email security, and this, is a, and this is the situation. So in our study, we really wanted to understand why. Why does, do all email security solutions are failing to detect unknown threats at first encounter? So we managed to kind of reverse engineer this process that all solutions go through when a new attack emerges. So let's start from the beginning. 
a new threat, a new emotet instance was spotted in the wild. From this moment, it will take about 15 minutes at best until the reputation engines and threat hunting services start to kick in and flag this new instance as suspicious. And this is gap one. At this phase, you're not protected as you can still click on these traps. In the meantime, the solutions are going through a process of qualifying this instance as malicious. This is of course gap, gap two and it could take days. And this process is not always automatic. And lastly, a new detection mechanism should be added. Uh, this is grape three. Well, this could take between a few days to a few months. Depends on the situation and the mechanism that was added. Overall, if we look at that, uh, all this process is happening for every single instance in the, that is detected in the wild, that is spotted in the wild. So it can somehow explain the blind spots of email security when it comes to unknown threats. These blind spots are caused by the fact that email security solutions are data driven. What do I mean by that? Their detection mechanism is based on past knowledge about the threats and about their prior familiarity with their behavior. A good example for that is a trend that we noticed during our study. Office 365 ATP in the US has a different detection rate comparing to Office 365 ATP in Europe. And this is basically happening as a result of data propagation. So it seems like the solutions are collecting a lot of data about the threats, trying to pay attention to patterns, trends, behaviors that repeat themselves. But hey, the attacker is using a short automation script, so you got the same old lady in a new dress. And in this new dress, she's undetectable. I would like to leave you with a thought. Would you wear a bulletproof vest that is capable to protect you only from the second bullet? Would you rather trust your luck? I invite you to get to our website and download the full study. You can also test it yourself and check if these threats would penetrate your email security. And once you will assess your exposure, remember that BITM is up for the unknown threat challenge as it is not, it is not data driven. That's why we close the detection gap and we block all threats at first encounter. Thank you.